West Palm Beach city leaders are going back to the drawing board. This after last year's controversial plans to build a new marina along the downtown waterfront area were abandoned. The city is now looking for a new way to improve the area. Yeah, this is a prized strip of land along the intercoastal located between Flagler Memorial Bridge and Royal Park Bridge to the south. And that's where CBS 12's Katie Benty is joining us live tonight with what's up for discussion. Katie? Jim, this is one of the most popular areas in all of Palm Beach County. I mean, things are a little quieter here at 11 o'clock at night, but typically people are out walking their dog, riding their bike, going out to eat. Now think, if you had the chance to make some changes, what would you want to see? That could be widening the bike lane or maybe adding some parking. Well, whatever it may be, city leaders say this time they're listening. West Palm Beach residents are speaking up and speaking out about the future of the place they call home. This scenic waterfront lining the intercoastal downtown has been a hot topic over the past year after community advocates questioned plans for a new development. The city was proposing a uh, marina to be built exactly in that section without any public input, much less public support. After receiving a heavy backlash from residents, the city tossed out the project and instead started asking what really needs improving along the waterfront, if anything at all. Residents went back and forth with city leaders at a special meeting Tuesday. I think a lot of us are just looking for reassurance from city government that the marina project is not going to be pushed through on the consent agenda over the summer when none of us are here. I can guarantee you, Madison, and to everybody in here, that it will not be on a consent agenda. There will not be anything done in the dark. Some residents say they should focus on adding more amenities, shade, and playgrounds. Others suggested restaurants and adding parks. Working. Put mangroves in there and made it so people would have a, a natural area to kayak through. It don't have to be that big. It would be a, a, a step in the right direction. But many were on different pages. With waterfront activities, the, the kayaks, the restaurants, all of these things are happening shortly in Curry Park, a mile and a half north. When you have more and more people and less and less green space, it's not good for us. It's not healthy. Again, this is just discussion. There will be a third and final meeting this Saturday at the Mandel Library. But if you can't make it, you can still make your voice heard by filling out the survey online. And we'll have all the information on our website, CBS12.com. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Katie Bunty, CBS 12 News.